Kenya's economy remains robust. Our GDP grew by 5.6% in 2015, compared to 5.3% in 2014, mainly driven by agriculture, construction, real estate, and finance and insurance. To the, according to the Oxford Business Group, which we partner with, over the last five years, Kenya's average value of consumer spending has risen by 67%, making Kenya the continent's fastest growing retail market. The group also recently ranked Kenya's real estate industry as the second most formalized market in Africa. The robustness of our economy and the positive international outlook are partly due to the business and investment climate reforms that we have spearheaded together with government. Globally, also the CNN ranked Kenya among the top eight emerging markets that investors should embrace in 2016. The previous year, 2015, the Fortune magazine singled Kenya out as one of the seven outstanding emerging markets worth investing in globally due to accelerated infrastructure development and a stable political and microeconomic environment. And Kenya was the only African country, country on that list. These are some of the issues that we really hope the media would pick and run with and really showcase our country. From the 2016 economic survey released a week ago, we saw that the financial and insurance sector maintained a robust expansion and grew at 8.7% in 2015 from 8.3% in 2014. This growth was mirrored by a 19.2% rise in the total domestic credit, equivalent to 2,830.5 billion Kenya shillings in, 20, in December 2015 rising from a growth of 16.1% in December 2014. On governance matters, corruption has been identified as the single greatest obstacle to economic and social development in Kenya, irrespective of whether it is perceived or real. The extent of the devastating effects of corruption on Kenya's economic development is huge, such, such that no development plan has missed it in the top priority challenges to be addressed. This has had a negative impact on Kenya's global perception uh, with the, both the Global Competitiveness Index 2015 and the World Bank's 2014 Enterprise Survey on Kenya ranking. Ranking corruption as a top concern for businesses operating in Kenya. In a recent survey by British Chamber of Commerce, there are members in Kenya, 65 out of 180 responded, revealed that corruption was seen as the greatest challenge to doing business in Kenya polling twice as much as all broadly equally. Corruption reduces efficiency of businesses and the economy at large. It increases the cost of running businesses. It distorts public expenditures, taxes and um, it, it taxes entrepreneurship. It lowers the quality of public infrastructure. It decreases tax revenues and it discourages foreign investments leading to decrease in FDI. The private sector is the supply side of most corruption in Kenya, mostly through public procurement, which accounts for 70% of corruption in the public sector. To this end, KEPSA has adopted three initiatives under its governance agenda, seeking to provide ethics and integrity, first and foremost within the body of private sector in Kenya, and secondly within the, private se the public sector. KEPSA is encouraging all leaders from among the public sector service, intellectuals, local and foreign businesses and development partners to join KEPSA in promoting ethics and integrity in Kenya. One other thing that we've done as KEPSA through our reform agenda, which is guided by the national business agenda, which is right here, under the NBA, improving governance and the business regulatory environment, this is our foremost thematic area. KEPSA undertook a corruption risk mapping survey to identify the loopholes within the public sector that create avenues of corruption. The survey conduct, conducted by KEPSA in 2014 in, identified seven areas of trade and service delivery where the public and private sector often interact to be the high risk areas of corruption in public sector operations. The import and export subsector tops the list of points of interaction where corruption is highly likely to occur with a 36% chance. This is followed by procurement and tax collection to a third place with 13% risk chance. The licensing process at 11% with 
while inspection and quality assurance processes are at 8%, with environment and safety certification at the point of the list at 3%.